World War II, a conflict that spanned continents and affected countless lives, is often remembered for its battles, its heroes, and its defining moments. However, beneath the widely known narratives lie some chilling secrets, and one of the most haunting is the story of Unit 731 and its leader, Lieutenant General Shiro Ishii. Located in Pingfan, near the city of Harbin in northeastern China, Unit 731 stood disguised under the unassuming title of the Epidemic Prevention and Water Purification Department of the Quanting Army. But this nondescript name concealed one of the most terrifying operations in human history. Established primarily for the research and development of biological and chemical warfare, this covert unit of the Imperial Japanese Army conducted a series of gruesome experiments on living humans. At the helm of this horrifying endeavor was Shiro Ishii, an ambitious military doctor with training in microbiology and immunology. His vision and drive were pivotal in convincing the Japanese military authorities of the benefits of biological warfare, which ultimately led to the creation of Unit 731. Ishii's role was not just administrative. He was deeply involved in the planning and execution of many of the experiments conducted within the facility. The activities within the walls of Unit 731 are difficult to fathom. Captives, dehumanized by being referred to as logs, faced unimaginable torment. Many were subjected to vivisection without the relief of anesthesia, where researchers would infect them with various diseases to observe the progression and effects on internal organs. Such procedures often resulted in agonizing deaths. Furthermore, these experiments were not limited to the confines of the facility. In open fields, Victims were tied to stakes while being exposed to germ-releasing bombs, grenades, and flame throwers, all in the name of testing weapon efficacy. Another horrifying facet of the unit's research was frostbite testing. Victims would be left in freezing conditions until frostbite set in, after which researchers would attempt different methods to rewarm the affected areas. These experiments led to gangrene, rot, and frequently amputations. Additionally, in their quest to weaponize diseases, prisoners were purposely infected with pathogens causing bubonic plague, cholera, anthrax, and more. The majority of victims were Chinese civilians. However, the torment was not limited to them. Russians, Mongolians, Koreans, and even some allied prisoners of war found themselves ensnared in this web of inhumanity. The term logs used for prisoners is particularly chilling, as it reveals the mindset of the researchers, told them their subjects were not humans, but mere commodities to be used and discarded. The secrecy surrounding Unit 731's operations was impenetrable. Even within the broader Japanese military establishment, few had a full understanding of the unit's extensive activities. As World War II neared its end and defeat loomed for Japan, the staff of Unit 731 scrambled to destroy all evidence of their crimes. Documents were burned, facilities razed, and surviving prisoners often executed. What's even more shocking than the existence of such a unit is the aftermath. Many of those involved with Unit 731's operations were granted immunity by the United States after the war. This controversial deal was made in exchange for the data they had collected, effectively allowing several war criminals to evade justice. Some of these individuals went on to enjoy prosperous careers in the post-war era, with a few even securing prominent roles in the Japanese medical community. The shadows of Unit 731's atrocities linger long after the end of World War II. For years, the very existence of the unit and its dark undertakings remained a taboo topic in Japan. However, with the passage of time and efforts of activists, survivors, and historians, there's been a growing push for acknowledgement and remembrance. Survivors and relatives of the victims have persistently sought apologies and compensation from the Japanese government. 
while there have been instances of acknowledgement, the topic remains a sensitive and contentious one in Japan and abroad. In retrospect, the story of Unit 731 and Shiro Ishii offers a sobering reflection on the perils of unchecked ambition, the depths of human cruelty, and the dire consequences of merging these with the apparatus of war. The haunting memories of those who suffered serve as a stark reminder of the critical importance of ethics, compassion, and vigilance in every field of human endeavor. Remembering these atrocities ensures that they are never repeated and provides a measure of honor to the countless innocent lives lost in the dark corridors of Unit 731.